Hi guys, it's been a while. Two years. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know if anyone's missed me, but I'm back. I've just graduated uni and now I just feel like I'm in a downward spiral. Don't really know what I'm doing with my life. I'm having post uni crisis, which I feel like everyone goes through. So I'm just telling myself that it'll all work out. Everything works out in the end. We just gotta keep chugging along. But to fill that hole that I'm currently feeling every day when I wake up, I have books. Today I'm actually here with a specific purpose. Can I have a drum roll please? You better be rolling your drums because this is exciting, okay? I am partaking in the Summerween readathon. Woo! I feel like that didn't need drum roll. Um, Souls. For those who don't know, Summerween is a readathon hosted by, coincidentally, my two favourite booktubers, Olivia Reads Latte and Gabby Reads. I get most of my book recommendations from them, hence why my TBR is ever growing and I blame them um, for all of my book buying choices. Summerween is for all us autumn or fall girlies if you're from America who are missing those cozy vibes whilst we're in the housecape of summer although today is actually I'm gonna pretend that it's autumn because it's rainy it's grey it's gloomy I'm gonna break out my Bella Swan cosplay in a minute I've never actually been able to partake in a readathon before because school work life has just always gotten in the way and I felt like I've never been able to like fully immerse myself in the readathon but right now I'm schoolless, jobless and have absolutely nothing going on so what better time to do a readathon? I feel like you know in that episode of WandaVision, the episode where it's like imitating Modern Family and Wanda's having a bit of a breakdown, that's me right now but I'm fine honestly I'm fine. So without further ado, I think we best move on to the TBR because I'm just going to get sidetracked. This video into life update. It's a Summerween Readathon announcement TBR video. So there are five prompts for this readathon. I've got four books because I'm not sure if I'll be able to read five books in a week, but we're going to, I have backups, okay? So. The first prompt is to read a book in the dark and for this prompt I have chosen Mina and the Undead. This book has been on my TBR for the longest time. Um, I'm kind of using this readathon as to try and get books that have been on my TBR for quite some time. They've been collecting some dust. Um, I'm using this readathon to get through them because I thought that was a stick of it's the moon. This book follows horror film fanatic Mina as she arrives in New Orleans to visit her sister Libby and while she's exploring the town you know having a great old time it, I've never been to New Orleans so I don't know what's in New Orleans can I say New Orleans any more times um she stumbles upon a body which happens to have puncture marks in her neck and she's clasping a lock of hair that resembles her sister's hair. The townspeople believe that Libby has the skin of a killer. She's a vampire. Or when hell breaks loose, they're all like, you're a vampire, stop what you're doing. I doubt it's that calm. I reckon people are freaking out. So Mina and her new bestie, Jared, take it upon themselves to try and convince everyone that Libby is not who they say she is and that she is not a vampire because why would she? That would be ridiculous, right? Right? Now if this doesn't sound like a good old fashioned YA horror then I don't know what is and that is right down my alleyway and I'm so excited. I feel like this is probably the scariest book out of the ones that I have here. Um, I've kind of been on a horror binge right now. Um, don't know what that says about me but next book we have is for the prompt that is to read a thriller so big surprise here i have a thriller and it is lying in wait i don't really know much about this book other than my best friend recommended it to me um she read it a couple of years back and 
she is not one to read thrillers but she read this and she was like it's amazing you need to read it and I was like stop right there you don't need to convince me anymore I'm going to read it as I said I don't really know too much about it um I believe it's like a family drama I kind of hope that it's a rich family drama because those are always fun blurb doesn't really give anything away apart from Lydia is greedy and her husband maybe kills someone so excited for this i do love a good thriller and i feel like thrillers are excellent books for readathons because you just want to keep reading you know unlike lydia i don't stop until i get what i want which is the ending and to find out who's done it so i'm excited for this next up we have the prompt that is to read a book with black or orange on the cover and i have don't speak when a teenage girl is found brutally murdered, of course, DS Amelie Davis struggles to keep her own trauma from clouding the investigation. After struggling in years of abuse at the hands of her father, Amelie has only ever trusted one man, her husband Edward, but he might be the dangerous person of all. In the middle of the night, she receives a phone call from an unknown number and the voice at the other end asks, do you think you know your husband? Suddenly, Amelie fears Edward is not the man she thought she knew. In fact, he might just be the killer she is hunting. Again, another riveting plot and I'm excited for this. I feel like it's going to be a good one. I have read quite a few thrillers this year and there's only been one that's kind of disappointed me and I had to stay in effort. Um, but... I'm very excited for this. Again, this has been on my TBR for a long time, but I found the books that I tend to leave for a while are my favourite books. Like, most of my favourite books are ones that I've left for a hot sec and I just kept putting them off and then one day I decided to just pick it up and they always tend to be the best books. And then the last prompt that we have is to read a manga, a graphic novel or a novella. And I have decided to go for a graphic novel and it is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. I have actually read this before last autumn and it was the perfect little cosy read and I feel like this will be a really good thing for a readathon because again nice and quick and you can literally bang this out in like an hour. Now I've got to try and read the names De Deja? Daya? I'm gonna say Deja and Hosea. Reading names isn't my strong point, okay? Um, both Deja and Hosea work at a pumpkin patch, which um, that is literally my dream. I want to work at a pumpkin patch. This follows their last ever work shift as after this year they're going to go away to college and they won't be working at the pumpkin patch anymore so they're determined to have the most amazing work shift and make it one to remember now i do have some other contenders in case i finish these four books and um, the last prompt is to read a book set in fall or autumn um i did just finish a book that was set in autumn so that would have been the perfect read but it's fine it was clown in a cornfield and it was so good it gave me all the 80s slasher vibes just what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to try and work out which books on my TBR are set in autumn. This is a great angle but I feel like this is set in autumn maybe. The October Society. Hmm. I wonder when this is set. So if I finish these four I'll probably move on to this and it's also quite short as well. So that is my Summerween TBR. Let me know down below if you guys are participating in the readathon. I will be uploading vlogs throughout the readathon. I'm thinking of either doing one long weekly vlog or two three day vlogs. So let me know which you would prefer because I ain't too sure. Um, I am super 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 excited for the readathon. I will leave uh, links down below so you can find out more about it if you are looking to participate yes i just realized i haven't even told you when it is it starts on friday the 7th of july to the 13th of july which is the day before my birthday um so yes i can't 
I almost ended the video without even telling you when it is. I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. That was my, that was my Halloween outro. I hope you enjoyed.